Department of Interior Assembly of the OSC, uh, as well as Mr. Yone Blinka, right. Uh, there will be time for questions from the media following the presentation. Regrettably, we must recognize that significant efforts to interfere with this election were undertaken by various actors, including entities linked to the Russian Federation, pro-Russian oligarchs, and locally supported groups with Russian affiliations. We praise the Moldovan people for running the presidential election professionally and with an extraordinary sense of duty and dedication despite the continued massive interference from Russia and its proxies. have already made reference to our overwhelmingly positive opinion of voting procedures. The determination of the Moldovan authorities and people to protect the integrity of the democratic process was noticeable during this second round. We encourage the authorities to continue these efforts in view of next year's parliamentary elections, and we will stand ready to support Moldova in defending its democracy. The European Parliament maintains its unwavering support for the democratic and the European future of the Republic of Moldova. Share our findings on the recent presidential election in Moldova. Despite continuous efforts by Russia and its allied Moldovian oligarchs to interfere and to offer alleged incentives that did not succeed. This is a testament to the majority of Moldovian society, which has shown it can decide upon its own leaders and chart its own course. Yesterday's second round has regrettably confirmed how deeply divided your country currently is. The president-elect will need to make every effort to build bridges and to heal these rifts, especially with parliamentary elections on the horizon next year. The preliminary statement that you've heard introduced here uh, as you leave, uh, along with the copy of the press release for today's statement,